Good morning from Geneva. This is day four at SIHH. Today is an exciting day because this is our last day at SIHH. Well, my last day. Oh yeah, I'm exactly. Still here. I, uh, yeah. I'm being deported. Uh, literally speaking. <laughs> quite deported. literally, because of passport issues. No, it's fine. I just gotta get my passport uh, renewed. Uh, we are we are in good spirits. A little tired. I think we're averaging about maybe four hours of sleep per night. Right. We're on our way to the Paul Expo where SIHH is, and today we're meeting with. Uh, like eight or ten locals, uh, we are going to escort these VIP guests around the show, and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what that's like. Yeah, exactly. So let's get rolling. Alright, so we've had some lunch, we've got all the uh, group together, and we're going to check out the novelties and such from uh, Ulysses Nardin. So, tag along. and that's Ulysses Nardan sorted. I think everybody had a great time. It's such a treat to see that Grand Deck Marine Turbion in person and, and actuated. It's just such a such a cool piece. And uh, now it's time to, I don't know, maybe grab a beer at Longa. It's a combination of a uh, tourbillon watch with a chronograph retrapron, perpetual calendar, and it also feature, uh, features our fusion and chain mechanism. That's why we have the name edition Polymerit. So uh, we have only a few timepieces with that fusion and chain, and only the chain of this um, mechanism consists of uh, 636 pieces. So the total number of components of this watch is 1,319 components. <laughs> <laughs> if you would count really every piece. Yeah. So, Longa, a beer, the TurboGraph, how's your day going? Okay, and we're leaving the warm embrace of IWC's luxurious palace for a really luxurious spot as well, Cartier. So at IWC, the tour was excellent. We saw some really impressive complications, the big Portofino Turbion, the really cool Da Vinci Perpetual, and everybody seems to be having a blast. So we're gonna keep it rolling and uh, check out what Cartier's got. I hope I get to play with that uh, extra flat drive again. One of my favorites. So we just left Gerbil 4Z, we got to see everything. Some really, really, really awesome stuff. I mean, you don't really expect that much less from 4Z, 
but uh, it, it was just such a treat to uh, be able to share some really stuff. I mean, the super sonnery, everybody got to try it. Next up is uh, a big fan favorite, Audemars Piguet. So, all done at AP, obviously, Royal Oak crazy, and now we're off to uh, Roger Dubuis. They have a really, uh, really eccentric booth, great colors and uh, a cool design, so I'll show you that in just a moment. And there's Roger Dubuis. Look at the colors. They've got this fissure that runs all the way down and along the floor. All right, so we just finished at Roger Dubuis. All went well. I really dig that uh, Pirelli edition of the Excalibur Spider. Really neat stuff. So next we gave the tour participants a choice between eating some food and having some champagne or possibly seeing some Richard Mill. And I, I think you can guess that they made the right choice and we're heading back to uh, Richard Mill. Good job, thank you.